As an LAPD officer, I'm sworn to protect these people of Los Angeles, so wouldn't they be safer if they weren't here? I mean, the air quality is terrible. And it's expensive! On top of that, the chance of you getting murdered in some horrible, gruesome way for this video game, L.A. Noir, is rather high because it's in the title of the game, L.A. Noir, Los Angeles, 1940s. Police emergency. And I'm behind the wheel, so watch out. Technically, this is not how you're supposed to play the game, but look at all these beautiful cars. They're like Pokemon, I've got to collect them all and smash them horribly. As I'm protecting these citizens of Los Angeles from themselves, they just don't know it. That hot dog stand had rancid hot dogs, you should thank me. Let's put on some 1940s era music and play good cop, bad cop, minus one good cop, plus another bad cop. So mathematically speaking, these people are screwed. Give me a Packard and a lead foot. You know, there's actually a lot more to this game than just run, running over people. No, there's not. <laughs> oh my god. I can't record these seriously. Some broad was murdered in the park last night, but whatever. I just ran over 45 people on the way to the crime scene. <laughs> Technically, the exquisite L.A. Noir is not exactly Grand Theft Auto in the 40s. It's more like Grand Theft Auto meets CSI in the 40s. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. This is from Rockstar yes. Games, so it's obviously going to be compared to the Grand Theft Auto series, but it's not about bringing a city to its knees with mass chaos and mayhem. While you can do a little bit of that, L.A. Noir is more about investigating crimes and solving murders. It is a completely different game than Rockstar's other popular series, Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto. L.A. Noir is a much slower, more in-depth game that is somewhat stylistically influenced by film noir classics like Stanley Kubrick's The Killing, among many, many others. I impression that Celine liked to live the glamorous life. How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Celine was one of the first women In fact, you'll find a lot of cop dramas have influenced this game, everything from Dragnet to the Dirty Harry series. Well, there's some action car chases and gunfights. Most of the game seems to fall under investigation. So it could be said that CSI is actually the greatest influence. In fact, if anyone listening has played these CSI video games, this one is remarkably similar, with a much, much bigger budget. And the open world environment that you can terrorize if you get bored after a while. But the game actually penalizes you for being an awful, awful cop. Come on! Didn't, didn't you hear my part about saving these people from themselves? They should thank me for running them over. It goes without saying that I love the style and the cars in the game as a car enthusiast. It's great to see models like Nash and Packard, and I love the old film noir classics. To cool the lover you pump through my The performances on the animated actors is remarkable. And while talking to them or interrogating them, you're supposed to read their facial cues and expressions and then gauge whether or not they're lying to uncover clues and solve the murder. Like a 1940s film noir classic, L.A. Noir has a slower pace but a higher attention to detail. 
as you arrest these punks and send them to the slammer. And as you play through the game, the cases get more challenging and intricate. It's a lengthy game that's not wall-to-wall -wall action, and it will take you quite some time to play through L.A. Noir. And there's additional downloadable content after that, which I'll also be covering. So for those looking to dive into a well-crafted vision of the 40s, Los Angeles as an investigator with that film noir style, L.A. Noir delivers. If you're looking for straight up action and explosions, you're better off with the Grand Theft Auto series, but for those who want to take their time and solve some crimes, this game is extremely well made. It's rated M for a reason, it can get quite gruesome at times, and the characters have some interesting backstories. But for those who enjoy the police action, crime solving drama without the nuisance of search warrants, there's L.A. Noir to satisfy your crime scene investigation while shooting all the bad guys' fix.